Today I spent 800 days in Valheim. With Ashlands finally here, I learned so many things along my journey. I learned how hard it was to get into the new biome and the upgrades that were needed. I also found a new boss altar that asked for multiple key items with new mechanics. If that wasn't enough, between all the new and juicy stuff in this update, my favorite thing was definitely this new portal. Not only was it beautiful, but it helped me in every way possible. The entire playthrough was streamed on my Twitch channel, Ray of Pandas. Now, without further ado, I spent 800 days in Valheim and here's what happened. Jumping back into Valheim, it felt like forever. Seriously, it was about two years since my last video in the series. With so many new things to find in this update, my excitement was unreal. Oh, yo, we could build these. Oh, they never had those before. Ooh, even the sp Ooh. Of course, the first thing I had to do was try and climb this madness. Hold on, I gotta get to the tippity top of this thing. Yeah. Oh, he's on fire. I might die. I might actually die. What I had a problem with, however, was what portal went where. Oh, yeah. And then the craziest thing happened. Miss Land's farm. 24 hour stream. Yeah, okay. Um, um, um. Excuse me? Excuse. My farm is up there. Oh, crap. I'm so afraid to move. I'm going to die. There goes all of my stuff. I worked so hard to build. Oh, you don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. What are you? As long as I. Oh, my God. 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 No, 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 no. We might be okay here. We might be okay. We might be okay. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Ooh. You come on. Like oh, you're one of those guys. Okay. Are you kidding me? I put so much time and effort into that and I can't even get back now. With so much time that had passed me by, I had to run my butt all the way back to my merchant portal. That was the closest thing I had. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna blow bubbles up your butt. How does that make you feel? They said if we have any portals close to the Ashlands, I didn't know my farm was that close. Like my farm was literally on Mistlands. I made it. This is good. This is great. All right. Oh. Making it back to my hub the next day, I felt a little lost, uncertain of where to go because of that fiasco. So I decided to run around my base some more, checking out different areas around the place, hoping that I would find something else to tackle. Taking a little peek into my food now, I decided on climbing the staircase to heavens and adding some more fuel into my sap extractors. The move now is to switch out my equipped armor for something a bit more agile. Gliding around as freely as I did, the plan was to extend out my farm in the plains. Working tirelessly throughout the night, mining and flattening out the ground some more, this was it. What really started to weigh on me was the amount of stamina I needed. So now it was time for a little switcheroo in hopes for some better food. What quickly turned into a simple run for a bit of iron, I found myself trying not to die while fighting the abomination. Truth be told, I don't remember why I was looking for iron, but I'm sure we'll both learn soon enough. Oh, right, right. Okay, I wasn't looking for iron specifically. I was looking to make blood pudding. Of course, I definitely knew that. With a new and beautiful day here, the sun was shining and giving plenty of warmth. I had all the food I needed now from blood pudding to some ice cream in my inventory. Seeing that this was the Ashlands update, I had to see for myself what new boss was waiting for me. All I saw was this massive flame that engulfed something. There was no way I was ready to fight a giant pillar of fire right now. Progress, I tell you. This was progress and it had me feeling a certain way. The reason for all this setup was a change of scenery, but more importantly, building something huge that made zero sense. My specialty. It first started with some of the platforms and stairs, both being held up with a few foundations. This entire masterpiece was coming along so nicely. All that was left to do was flatten out some more of the grounds and then getting everything ready for the biggest crop overhaul ever. My prized possession, my beautiful farm and something of a big change. The new fenced off area I had was so much better than the dinky fences that were set up a few days back. Not only that, but I managed to get some roofing built for days to come. What I didn't expect to happen, and I really should have noticed, is there was fuelings going berserk on some of my beefalo. They definitely weren't a match for my furry friends though. But now I was trying to push them back, one by one. Thankfully, there was an opening, so I was able to get them all back inside. Looking into another portal, I was in need of some Yagdrazil wood. I just needed to watch out for a few something-somethings in the area. The biggest reason for all that wood was to bring back some light sources for the place, making night a bit more bearable, and so I had vision for later on. With just the last few things to finish up, I had some more chests built, though now I had the farms being filled in with more barley and flax. All the extra bits I took back home and decided to make some flour out of it. 
or whatever I could. Lucky for me, the ground started shaking and now I could test out my weapon some more. Onto a new day here, I wasn't sure if I was ready, but it was no time like the present. The closest portal I had was back at the Iron Crypts. So now I began my journey setting sail towards this new biome called the Ashlands. As the weather began clearing up, I found myself near some mistlands. Getting as close as I could, it was time to drop anchor and set up a way back home, just in case of emergencies, because if you knew me or know me, you know that I needed protection and just so much more. We build this, we built this city, mistlands, F. Before making my ascent, there were a couple of things I wanted to take care of. Another Metroid Prime looking creature, and then some more bugs. What did fill me up with a bit of joy here, because as you know, my farm was somehow destroyed instantly, was me replacing that once farm I had with these Jotun Puffs and Mage Caps. They were my precious. The plan was to build a bridge out as far as I could, but by the end of the night, there was no way this was happening. The materials needed were a bit of a grind, but as I approached the waters once more, it was time to set sail again. Ashlands, here I come. All right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Just go straight, just go straight. The wind is going to go against me though? Oh, you better not. This was going to take some time to learn because now I had a new problem. My boat was burning up in the water and- Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. What is that? What is that? I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I am so dead. Oh, we're dead. We're going to die in the water. That is bone maw. Um, I mean, I hit it. Oh God, it's coming for me. It's coming for me. This is like the Reaper Leviathan moment. Oh my God. I'm going to just try to swim as close as I can back to the thing. And oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> no. So this right here, this was about to be the coolest thing ever. Okay, so I did have the placeholder item, which is now a new thing because Ashlands is out. But I, I should have looked through this so much more. I didn't see this. The artisan press. Artisan table improvement. But it's not a crafting station. Build this. The Artisan Press. We have Artisan Table 2 and a cer ceramic plate. Uh, okay. No matter how hot this gets, the other side of it remains... <gasps> Maybe I can put this on the boat. Oh, my God. I had to look back at the Valheim thing. Oh, my God. There's a new boat, too. Are you... Mother... Roger. Are you kidding me? Are you frigging... Oh, my God. Picking up some new armor the next day, it was time to gather all the materials I could for this new boat I needed. Things were about to get exciting again. Ooh, this boat is majestical. Oh, is that a word? I don't even know, man. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that one. And then look at this one. I love how thick it is. Oh my God, it's thick. Yo, we should be doing thick. This ship is doing so good. Oh, those are fishes. Never mind. With the weather picking up, the waves started crashing into the boat. So that was about to become the least of my worries. Ooh. We gotta kill it. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. There we go. There we go, baby. All right, where's the... Okay, I think I can make it with the amount of stamina I have. Probably should have done this a little bit better. Okay, hold on. We gotta double check. How is this looking? Oh, wow. We got a lot of HP on it, too. I'd love to go through the Ashlands way right over there, but thing is taking damage and we need to repair. Having all the food I needed from a full Thanksgiving dinner to some juicy potions, I was ready to tackle the seas once more. Not only that, but I needed to make it to this nearby land. What's happening? Oh, it's getting stormy. Oh, it's raining fire too. Oh my God. And there's more lightning. I made sure to kill this giant serpent by my boat quickly and then readied myself for what awaited me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got my practice in. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That's the guy with the big bow. That's the guy with the big bow. That's the guy with the big bow. Ooh, charred marksmen. They look so sick. Dude. And then they got... Oh, it was like fireball. Dude. Oh my god. We got people throwing. I could definitely say I was in the middle of it all. Experiencing so much and making sure to stay alive. Breastplate. So let's do helmet first. So 34 armor. Let's go. The problem now would come to bite me in the butt later. Storage was slowly being filled to the point of no space. And yeah, like I said, this was going to hurt me. Boom, look at that. We have the car piece or care piece armor. And this, I believe you get after defeating the boss because of the stuff. 34, 34, 34. Not even maxed out. And the other ones were 32 completely maxed out, like quality four maxed out. With both my Spine Snap Bow and Misty Sword in hand, I was so ready to fight my way through the fiery depths. 
What I did start to notice was how much I needed new equipment. All these new creatures hit twice as hard, and if I parried the wrong way or missed my footing, I'd be very dead. So with that in mind and what needed to change was building some sort of little indestructible base here or something of the sort. If there was one thing that would help me out, surely it would be the new iron defense I could build, which meant I needed iron now. A lot more iron. The first few trips in were great, and that gave me a lot to work with. I definitely started farming all the iron crypts left around the place. That was easily over 10 to 15 crypts and even some that were unmarked. I took as much as I could and left the stacks outside, slowly bringing them back to the boat and getting the ship prepared for a big base build. While setting out over the seas, everything was going as planned. It did take a bit of time to get back to where I was, but let's just say you're not going to believe this next part. I, I didn't use any of the iron, any of it. It kind of just sat there. I'm going to be honest for almost all the video. And I, I don't know why. Just thought I, I don't know. I thought I needed iron. Didn't. Turns out I didn't use any of it. Seeing that my food could use some upgrades though, I was ready to try out a different piece of meat. Cooking the food I got. I gotta see what this turns into and how good it is. Bone mom meat is so far the best I've seen. So with this, we get a total of 90 health, which is crazy. It also felt like it was time to gather hundreds, if not more of my crops in the plains. The amount I collected was insane, and now I could see that little light at the end of the tunnel again. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment Morgan down below. The next few days went as such, building a smelter in the lands of ash, filling and waiting for everything to smelt and cook down. Not only that, but I had a bunch of iron back in my base and figured be twice as fast to get those going. I would eventually have to sail another ship out if I wanted all this iron brought back to me. It sucks there wasn't a portal that existed for me to travel to and from with, you know, with all the iron in that, because normal portals just didn't give you that option. In need for some more Yggdrasil wood, I found myself a little confused as I stood there. What portal would take me where I needed to go? Looking back at it now, I really should have named these portals something I'd remember. But as I found the right portal, I began chopping down the wood needed, hoping that nothing would go wrong. Oh, we killed each other in the sun. <laughs> ah. So here's something new I saw today. A big creature out in the fog that was lurking about. Uh, oh, there's a stone beast right there. I don't know if you could see it, but if you can, holy crap. I just wish it was clearer or more daytime-ish. It's called Morgan. Morgan? Okay, okay, I need that other guy to die. Whoa, okay, cool. Thanks, man. Okay, let, let you do the rolly thing. Oh, God, this guy fills up my shield so much. Hold on. Come here, come here. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Killed Morgan, and I got Morgan Sanu. Snoo Snoo? Oh, I got Morgan Snoo Snoo in my bag. One thing I should mention here was how much the sword saved my life early on. It had this type of slow effect and then gave me a chance to really smack these baddies around. If it wasn't bad enough while trying to survive in the Ashlands, mind you, I was only on the shorelines, but now I had to deal with the cauldron being stirred. The only thing that made it towards me were a few bats. Other than that though, I continued to build the black marble build out some more. The biggest reason I even thought about building with this material was due to the Ashlands. Fire plus anything built out of wood equaled bad. With a new morning and some light to finally see what I was doing, I had no idea where to go from here. Eventually, I found some inspiration for building and these heart-shaped stones, making sure to build a wall so it held everything up together. Soon enough, my chest and I would be protected from the random fireballs that would set everything on fire. Being out of the exact material I needed to keep building, I was back to jumping through random portals, getting lucky in one area and somehow finding myself so distracted with a dungeon in the Mistlands. Oh, this is one of those dungeons. Time to get spooked. Oh, a lot of ticks. Don't mind if I do. They definitely changed the uh, the mines. They look a lot more infested. This is cool. What's that? Oh, oh my God. Black cores. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to be able to build an item that I forgot about. Just go down nice and slowly. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Why did that scare me so much again? Mother, stop. Stop scaring me. Okay, just stop. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah! Dude, the level two ticks suck me oh so much more. <laughs> oh, 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 this is like some alien versus predator stuff. I just realized these things. Oh my God. There's like creepy crawlers living inside of each one too. 
Give me out. Give me out. Wait, what is down here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All of this for some weird looking generator too. What really caught me off guard here was how much time I spent in the water. With everything being heated up here, I could burn to death if I wasn't quick about it. All right, I'm starting to become on fire. Don't like it. Kind of hurts. Mm -mm. Look at this. My first bone mod trophy. That's crazy. Now it was time to set up a few torches around, giving me some sort of beacon so I knew where my base was. All right, I think it's time we fight the big beefy boss. The one and only that one. You see this thing? This moment right here, I was thinking to myself about panicking and getting upset. Instead, I focused on the fight in front of me. It destroying my base or not, I knew I would take home the W. What a perfect morning to go out for some more exploration. With my new and improved parrying skills, I was able to finally go further into the lands unknown. This could be potentially huge. There is something way up there, but I think that's just not loaded or i don't know broken there's like a, a weird broken castle over there getting greedy never looked good on anyone and seeing that i had a bunch of new stuff i obviously wanted more Just look at this there's a castle left oh it's like breaking down castle well i got new build pieces from what monument of torment okay, we got a lot of new building stuff all right, we got some Gra Graston. I don't know. Between some new Ashwood and breaking down what seemed to be a spawner of sorts, that was it for me. This is new. Charred arrows? Oh, but we need Ashwood, man. Oh, staff of Fracture. Only those with patience and focus will be able to harness the true power of the staff. It's fire damage, so it's not going to do much to these guys. Ooh. Oh! It got a little, like, explosion stuff. Ba -ba boom definitely the coolest set of armor and with a whole bunch of new weapons all i needed now was some food to match the et tier these equipment required next it was on to the testing phase i didn't really explore too much magic in the mistlands update so this was perfect timing oh <gasps> that okay there there it is that, now i remember why magic was a little scary <laughs> let me tell you magic wasn't bad at all of course there would be a few more deaths but this was for science I was this close to throwing in the towel, but somehow I missed a few things and noticed something big. We're getting new stuff. This is big. This is big. <sighs> All right. We got new hood alert. New hood alert. There's trousers of this one. Oh my God. I need 10 now. And whoa, spooky man alert. <laughs> Let's go. That's sick. Thankfully from previous days or weeks ago by this point in, I did have a farm in the Mistlands with exactly what I needed. All right, here's the mage caps. Look at these beautiful B words. I love it. As you could probably tell by now, I had almost twice as much at tier and I was killing just about everything in one full swoop. Here we go. We got a dog. We got a dog. Oh, the grind. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Seeing that there was no turning back this far in, I had to see what was on the other side. What else did this place have? Or what was it hiding? What do we have here? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, I got a pelvis. What are we building? I feel like I'm building some sort of skeleton. Woo, that's a that's scary, 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 scary one, scary one, scary two. Two star, two star. That's a two star. Oh my god. Onto bigger and better things here. Now it was time to try out some new stuff. I put up a shield of protection on myself and got to work. Yeah, two star. Don't really want to fight you, buddy. I'll be honest. Do not want to fight that. E. And instead of wasting my rested buff, I need to get going. You better believe I didn't expect to find something like this so soon. Putrid hole. Into the butthole, that is. Looks like a little torch thingy. Molten cores? Whoa! Portal stone. Wait, what? There's new portals? Ancient pot? There's new portals and pots. Pots and portals. Portals and pots. Pots and portals. With every minute that passed me by on this place, I started to feel more at home with the Ashlands. Sure, there was a lot more deaths on its way, but this place was so much fun. Remember when I said there wasn't anything that existed that could port all the different metals into a portal? Yeah, I was so wrong. You know what? I'll put it out here. Ooh, <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, so we should be able to teleport, right? Yes! Oh my God. It works, it works, it works, it works, it works. I'm spitting everywhere. Mm. And we're back in base. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Holy crap. All we do is go to the blast furnace and now we can start taking all the stuff we wanted, needed, or wasn't able to, but now we can. 
Oh man, we're gonna be building a lot of new stuff. And then there's the flame metal shields, tower shield. So cool. Slayer. Oh, <laughs> there's a saddle. Oh my God, there's a saddle. We can, we can, oh my God, we can get them. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Not only do we have a lot of new stuff from Ashlands, this is probably the biggest and best thing ever. Seeing that this was like any other ore, the flame metal used 20 pieces per equipment. So I threw on my big boy pants and began the process. Don't die, mine a bunch of metal down, and try not to die again. The feeling started to overtake me with how overwhelming I felt. I was loading up on food for health and stamina, putting on a new set of armor, and making my way back towards the Ashlands. What I did start to see was how much of a difference the armor made. I could finally take some hits and fight my way through this place. As much as using magic and the new weapon was fun, I wanted a bit more protection and HP. That started with more Jotun Puffs and Mage Caps. Looking to see if I missed anything else with my Cauldron. Cauldron level 6, and we have a lot of new stuff. Dude, that gives 100 straight up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Oh, it gives us one of each, actually. If you notice that, look at that. So this one's stamina, the other one's health, and then magic. What I did switch out was my shield. The shield I had was fun, but it was just too bulky for me. With a bit more flame metal being mined up now, it was time to sit and wait. Wait for everything to be smelted down and this big smile to keep on smiling. This was it, ladies and germs. This is what we look like right now. And then if I put helmet... Oh, here's the suit. Ooh, I like the bones attached to it. That's kind of cool. Ooh, so much armor. Oh, actually, holy... You know what? That fit kind of nice. It actually looks, yeah. Oh, it feels great too. Oh man. Having one of the best sets of armor in the game and a new sword at the ready, no creature could stand in my way. No spooky, scary skeletons, no Askvins, not even the vultures themselves. Trying to find my bow the next day, I wasn't sure where I put the thing, but it was gone. That left me using the rest of the flame metal I had for a special upgrade. This was probably more of an RNG thing, but these putrid holes, these dungeons in Ashlands, definitely gave me a scare. Okay, please no spooky thing. Please no... Ooh, I can actually see in here. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm using this. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Yo. Alright, Morgan. Morgan, get out to here where the core's at. You don't feel rested anymore? Good thing I killed them when I did that. Oh my god. While being back inside the Ashlands here, I wanted more flame metal. More than that, I needed to find another safe place to set down a portal. It was getting a little repetitive running back and forth off of a single portal, and it was just so far. It was crazy the amount of things I would find. At every turn, there was always something there. I, I, I hope this is not a boss. I hope this is not a boss. This one looks a little scarier. A little scarier, a lot of scarier, a fallen Valkyrie. Okay, 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 okay. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I'm going to block. I'm going to block. I'm going to block. I'm going to block. Oh, you do fire. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Woo! Holy crap. This one's really cool. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Maybe I could use the trees to my advantage. Right, right, right. If I can make it through the portal, I don't care for breaks. I don't care for breaks. Eee! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I was kind of just like messing around because I didn't think it would actually be a friggin' thing. Being this far into my playthrough, I started to feel so claustrophobic with how my chests were getting so filled and full. And then on top of that, my base. It, it's been two years. It has been two years since I played this game. So the base was just, it felt out of date, out of touch, you know? It didn't feel like home anymore. Oh, <gasps> it's a force field! So range stuff doesn't work. Oh, this is beautiful. Actually, I probably should have made it closer to the base there, but whatever. Okay, so it does use quite a bit, but we also get tons of bones. Like, I'm okay. So, remember that second portal I managed to get down in time? All right, we got Bone Mask Spirit, so we can take all the hits now. Oh my god. With the Bone Mask buff, though, man, look at this. I just got to wait for the buff each time. And I can block that one. Okay. I got range too, buddy boy. Boom, baby. Let's go. Oh my God. Don't bring that thing back to my, my portal next time. Holy smokes. Not only did I get another new item, this thing was part of a buildable back at base. 
I wonder what this is going to give me. New station level four. That's it? Really? That's it? Just that? Finding new items and creatures was one thing, but so was structures and things of real importance in the game. Even this so-called boss arena I came across. Bell holder? Attach item? Oh, we have to attach three things to this. Ring the bells. Altar of emerald flame. So when we attach the three items, we ring the bell and it summons something here. Yo, what's up? It's a party up in here. It's a party up in here. What are you guys doing? Oh my god, this is cool. I'm friend. I'm friend. I'm so friend. I'm, I'm such a friend right now, guys. This is cool. They even have like their own things. So while trying my best to pick up another feather from these Valkyries, I found myself staring away, not even noticing what was right in front of me at the time and would become one of the best foods or buffs I'd find. I was screaming at myself while editing this part. So hard to watch him not pick up those vine berries. With some real time to sit and think about what to do with my base, it was time for a change. Something more up to date and that felt safe. What I built was great and it lasted me a long time, but I kept thinking about any type of fire and this would all go up in flames. So it started with a bit of deconstruction in order for a new archway to go up. So this was kind of the idea I had. We have the archway going across using the Graston medium beams. I did open it up more to where if you put it together, the doors will fit. So what I mean by that is like, if you do this, we'll have a door fitting there. And if we do this, we'll have a door fitting there. But I don't want these to have doors. I want them to be more open this time, this go around. The only thing is, is trying to figure out how the roofing is going to work with these. I did end up taking it down, however, because the floors needed to be placed first. Stone held up stone, so all the wood I had needed to go. Today, I would have some pillars made, taking all the new roof recipes at my disposal and placing them down however I could. Eventually, my base went from looking like this to now being something a bit more up to date and looking like that. Stone and all with so much more to come. This was more of the vibes I was going for. I want to change all of this. We don't even need these little hole thingies anymore because I'm not cooking in here and I was using these, but we're not using those anymore. We're going to have like actual torches or uh, these, these lanterns. Got to go back to the mistlands for some of the stuff, but it's awesome for now. Skipping a fair amount of me dying, falling to my death and just in general death. This was the progress I started to make towards my base. The next part of this cleanup was getting all my workbenches and stations moved into a single spot. I wanted to have everything more compact and just close together. I was even thinking of ways I could start replacing all of my chests for something more or just adding on top of what I had. Obviously space was low and I needed some change here. My best idea yet and because storage was so much more than before, these big, beautiful and black metal chests. These things were off the awesome. I tinkered around, I played with the idea, and eventually landed on something quite amazing. The feeling that washed over me was a sigh of relief. Things started to feel like home again. And even after two years of coming back to Valheim, my base, my base agreed with me and all. What became one of the best days for my base though, I was ecstatic to show you all the progress I finally made. Pretty much the same when it comes to like this stuff, but you come in here and take a look, see, See how it's coming along? Look at this. I have so many black metal chests just all along here just to hold everything I have. And then we're building all of what we have here. Oh, oh in all its glory. This took way too long. It, it's a process and a half. I got rid of the things that, going, that were going up and down and I figured out a way to set them up just with the beams. I think the beams actually add a lot more too. So I'm going to leave it like that because it, it just looks really good. This was by far the coolest thing about the chests and what you can actually do with them and just some simple coding. This is it. This is what it looks like to be finished this little portion at least. <laughs> oh man. Oh mama. Oh boy. I managed to figure out the corner piece to my base. Seeing that the Ashlands update for building materials was rather basic, I was stuck using wood for now. What I was terrified of was replacing the little balcony area with my bed. This this part of the game in my last video took forever to build, so now I was just scared that I would destroy it and nothing would come. Afterwards, it was all about adding more stone foundations so they had more room to build with. There were so many ideas bouncing around in my head. We don't have to flatten it out completely just because no matter what, not a big deal at all. But enough, look at it. Look how much we've extended this land though, because there's so much more mass here. With a bunch more stone floors added to the addition, everything I had planned of was about to come true. Now all I had to do was open up the entire place, moving some stuff around for the space needed. I think I was only really scared about my Christmas trees, since I didn't have the recipe to build anymore, which was really weird because I, I built them. I had to leave what was already up in case they just, you know, 
it would never come back. I then started with some stairs leading up to the next floor. The change itself was feeling so good and something that we both needed. Since height did play a big role in this next part, I decided on lowering the stairs and left the top floor as the main bedroom area. Look at the progress, man. We got that side. We're going to make this the main thing. Hopefully I can go up one more. I'm going to try to do that. We'll see how it works. Like I could do the walls and everything, but eh, there's no flavor to it. Like there's not as much as I'd hoped for. Ready for some delightful furnishing. This is what I had so far. So between all the wood, trying to get a roof up with the, the walls, I'm going to replace the walls somehow. I need to figure out a way to replace the walls. But then the biggest thing, I use the rest of my flame metal for this. But look at this. I want to be super protected. Look at these doors. Ooh. Yo, I'm going to be super protected, though. Look at this. Look at this. The only way I would build roofing here was adding additional supports and windows to hold the stuff up. Then it was onto some iron beams. Having them all around the perimeter, it felt like the structure would actually be held up. This was as far as I got with my roof too. All right, so this seems like it's gonna be the max height for what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna try and figure out how to keep going. Because as you can see, it is dark red, and that means it will break as soon as I put it to right. So that's the max height. I might actually try putting bars, like those these steel bars here, just down here, try and do something there and there. And this, lady and gents, this is it. This is what the finished product looks like, at least the foundation and everything. Now I can actually build stuff inside, like my bedroom and throne and all that. But this is what it is. When it Once it's lit up, you will see what it actually looks like. And now I just got to figure out how to, like, line align these up. I think I might align all this up together. If there was something I never saw myself doing, it was me actually finishing up the dock side of things. I always had the area closed off, so this started to feel satisfying in every way possible. This was everything I worked on, between replacing all my roofs to floors and just about anything that was wood. But let me show you. Let me show you something. This is going to be so cool. There's still so much to do with this base, but overall, oh, I have to show you. Obviously, not everything is finished. Okay, just remember that. Just remember that. But we finally finished this up. I got this way going, and I'll just have to continue replacing these now and everything. But we have this archway for the front port. Like, this is the front door. This is like the main thing here. Still got the beautiful courtyard. The other side's looking good too. I know it's dark, so it's going to be hard to see. I'll show you in the daytime as well. But then you have the bed. It's looking cool as fudge. Everything's like held up nicely. Come over here. All of this. This is going to become the dockway. So we're going to go straight out and then to the right. And it's going to be a dock where like you, you go into the side. Of it. Rather than just coming straight at the base, you'll come straight at and then you'll just hit a left start turning left and then you'll just kind of slide into it it's going to be one way in out kind of deal but it's going to be awesome this is what the base is going to be for now i'll come back to this again finish it in the next week doing another 100 day video on this where it's like 900 days and finally finish up ashlands and everything and then after that kind of just tidy up everything in general even down here is kind of looking cool these are the supports i had to leave just so this could hold it up the armor, I might leave the armor down here or we could put it in the hallway, but we'll see how that goes. Knowing that there was something I missed, it was back into the Ashlands for a special seat. Whoa, Vineberry Cluster. So we have new food. And then, wait, there was mead base. Oh, look at all the stuff we're getting. And then a spicy marmalade. Oh, we got so much food. Oh my God. Holy crap. Oh, wait. It just all spawned in too. No idea how long this part of the base took, but I replaced pretty much everything. I did it, everybody. Oh my God, my eyes are burning. I did it. Oh my God, we friggin' did it. I probably should have moved it down one more so I could line it up here. But honestly, whatever. I'm happy with it. Let's show you, shall we? So I finally, finally completed the whole roundabout with everything. I did all the roofing, the middle parts. I figured out the sides here. Oh my God. <laughs> we, I, I, I finally started adding to this now. Uh, the cookery is going to stay as it is until next playthrough, just because I'm not doing that right now. Mm -mm, no, this is good enough. Good enough for now. But this, however, this beautiful thing. Oh my God, this thing's amazing. 
But then if you come down here, this is going to be going out to the dock that I finally finished this. Oh, we never had this. Remember, like I had a little foundation thing going. No wood either. All stone coming out. We finally finished up this too. It comes out. We come oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Got to give you a full tour. Full tour. So coming over here, it ends here because this will be the dock. Eventually, I'm going to have a staircase going down a little bit gonna go straight out to the right and then the right's gonna be longer so when it comes in the boat will just go to the side and park and then leave again got the basement down there we got my bedroom over here that's all the crafting stuff you saw before over here is the beautiful thing look at it look oh that is fine that's fine i'll figure something out but we finally finished that. We finished all of this. Come on over here. All my portals. Just so I could remove that over there. Look at all the stuff on the ground. <laughs> There's so much stuff. You break one thing, it all falls apart. Got a little staircase going here so it's easier to get in and out. Come on over here. Got another little staircase so it's easier to get in and out again. Now that I have like a full-on stone build going, we're going to have a castle build and farm so much stone. It's going to be crazy. Going to bed for the last night. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the first of many uh, episodes, series videos in this 100 day series, because this is going to be the longest running series, man. Oh, baby. While I'm cleaning that up, though, I do want to say thank you so much for still being here to this day, especially for this series. This series was the one I started everything on. I didn't do any Subnautica or anything. This was literally my first ever series I started before Subnautica and all that. So thank you because there were so many people who actually loved the series and watched it and still watch it to this day which is insane but this was the one that i fell in love with that so many people fell in love with and fell in love with my content through this and you know that just that means the absolute world to me because it says so much but with that said guys i hope you enjoyed this video there is going to be so much more valheim coming i promise you that there's going to be so much more so much more i still want to do still have to do still have to beat the boss but with that said, I love your faces. Subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. But thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will see you in my next video. This is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.